Hey guys, today I am going to be demonstrating how to install Snap packages. Uh, I'm going to be using the Brave browser as an example. It's a browser that I quite like, but the uh, aim of today's exercise is basically just to demonstrate how to install Snap packages. Uh, I'm going to be doing it on Peppermint 8. This video has been requested, but I thought that there could be a substantial number of people that don't really know how easy it is just to install and set up Snap packages. It's pretty much almost as easy as installing packages from any of the standard Linux distributions these days. But I'm going to demonstrate uh, thusly because it does work not only on Peppermint, but also on any Linux distribution based on uh, Ubuntu, the long-term support 16.04 or later. So it's quite widely supported. It's also available on Arch-based distributions, and as I understand it, Red Hat-based distributions as well, as well as you know, almost every distribution basically, seems to have support for Snap packages these days. So um, it's a common repository that we can all make use of. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely worth a look. So it's quite, like I say, very easy process to, uh, to set up. Uh, I'm going to be using the terminal. The reason I'm going to be using the terminal is simply because it's the easiest way to actually set up and install Snap packages. I know that a lot of people do prefer GUIs and package managers and all this kind of stuff. And I'm sure over time there'll be some really good snap package manager, um, package managers out there. But really the, um, the terminal, com um, the terminal is just, it, it, it's, it's, it's a piece of cake. So what I do is I just do sudo apt, would help if I could spell apt, sudo apt install snap d, sudo apt install snap d. And then you put in your root password. And uh, yeah, there it goes, goes installing. It doesn't take too long either. Now this is just gonna download SnapD and um, pop it into your system. It's gonna set it up all automatically. There's practically zero configuration that you need to do. In fact, I think there is zero configuration that you need to do. Um, it's just sort of setting it up, self up se setting itself up now. There we go. So now we just go use snaps. So we can do sudo install, sudo snap install brave sudo snap install brave. That's how we install a snap package using snapd. Those four simple words, sudo snap install brave. Obviously you replace the word brave with whatever application you might require, Skype or Slack or Discord. They all basically uh, install and work the same way. But yeah, sudo snap install brave. And because this is the first snap package that we're installing on this new snapd installation, it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to require setting up the snap core, as you can see it downloading there, but also um, it's going to be, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's laying out a lot of things for the first time. You'll notice that when I do actually um, open up the Brave browser at the end of this video, it will probably take significantly longer than you might expect because it is setting up for the first time. But like I say, the process is incredibly easy. It's very automated. And, um, and actually I genuinely expect Snap packages to take off in quite a big way. It allows developers to just port their applications to a single location and then it's immediately available on basically um, every, distri you know, every distribution um, that you, you would otherwise package for. It's a really good idea. It's something that I really quite like. And I like the fact that they, because they're sandbox apps, there is that increased degree of security as well. I know people that use, um, that prefer to use the Chromium browser, um, but to negate some of the um, fears that they have with it, uh, they actually run it in a, as a snap package because it's sandboxed. So it's a little bit more secure, a little bit more, um, uh, you're in, in control of it a little bit more, I think is probably the best way to put it. Um, and that's the, uh, that's the broad benefits of sandboxing anyway. Um, also, portability is a good um, uh, is 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 a is a benefit of it as well. Okay, so we have just installed Brave. Um, now, what I like to do after I've installed SnapD and after I've installed my first set of packages and all this kind of stuff, I just like to do a quick sudo reboot. This just makes sure that everything is on the same page. You know, we shut everything down, we open it up again. Um, and because we've just installed a whole bunch of new software, I, I think that this is generally a good idea. Sometimes it's it's just it just makes sure that um, that we have a clean launch for the first time. Because sometimes I've I've noticed that I, I launch a, a snap for the first time and it doesn't launch, and then I have to reboot and then it opens. Um, because it does seem that after you set up SnapD, it just it just seems to be um, it makes things a little bit smoother if you just do a quick reboot. Um, but there we go. It's uh, we have installed Snap, we have installed Brave, and now we can run the Brave browser simply by typing Brave in the command line or finding it in the old menus. Uh, because Brave does this, and like I say, uh, because Snap does this. Uh, but of course. Uh, 
as I said earlier, Brave is going to take just a moment to uh, to open up. There we go. It's uh, it's taking its time now. Um, and there we go. Brave is open. Next time we open Brave, it will you know will open significantly uh, faster. Uh, but this is just because it's it's setting up all the config files and directories for the first time. But yeah. That's how you install Snap, and that's how you install Snap applications. Uh, it's a very straightforward process, not massively dissimilar to what you're used to with your current distribution, I'd expect. And all in all, yeah, it's a good piece of tech. And uh, if you run well, pretty much any any Linuxy operating system these days, the chances are that you will be able to run Snap packages and the setup process will be somewhat similar to what I demonstrated today. Uh, you probably just have to replace apt with the package manager of your distribution. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And um, until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.